So now that we understand a bit about variables, let's see what we can do with them. So the most important thing that we would want to do with a variable is to print that variable. Okay, so in Python, uh, we're provided with the print function. Okay, and function has these two parentheses. Now, inside this print function, we will state or we will write what we actually want to be printed. Okay, so let's say I want to print the number 45. Okay, then it will give me 45. Seems simple enough. Let's say I want to print a string. Okay, and remember a string is anything in single quotes or double quotes. Alright, so if I want to say hello there, then I would need to have hello there inside single quotes and when I press enter you'll notice that hello there is printed uh, on the console okay so the console is just this uh, screen now I can do this another way uh, I could um, use double quotes okay Python understands single quotes and it understands double and it understands double quotes. So once again it prints hello there. Okay. So you might be asking, well, that seems kind of pointless. Why would Python provide us two ways of printing or creating a string? Well it turns out that in some strings we are forced to use the single quote. What do I mean? Well, let's say you want to print the string um, it's here. Okay. Now, what do you notice? A part of the string is in green and a part of it is in black. So, one way to know that a string is correct in Python is if all of it is in green. Okay, and here only a portion of the string is in green. So why is that? Well, Python has this first apostrophe and it sees the second apostrophe. So it assumes that this is the string. Okay? It is the string. And everything else that comes after that is something else. So if I were to press enter, it gives me an error. It says invalid syntax. So I did something wrong. In programming, when you see uh, something called a syntax error, it simply means I violated one of the rules of the language. Okay? So how do I fix this? Well, thankfully, Python allows us to have single quotes inside double quotes. So I can say it's here. And notice Python gives all of it as green and it comes out as we expected. Okay, so we know how to print uh, strings. We know how to print numbers. How do we print variables? Let's create a variable called name. Okay. And remember, I always say when you create a variable, you must specify the name of the variable. I'll just give it something as, uh, let's say, country. Okay. And we're going to say country is assigned the name, uh, let's say, USA. All right. Great. So if I type country, you'll notice that Python gives back to me country with the quotes. Alright. Now, let's do print name of the variable, which is country, and let's see what gets shown.
Notice it's USA without the quotes. So we say that the print function shows us the string in a formatted manner. Okay, it's formatted. It looks pretty. It looks nice. If we simply type the name of the variable, like we did here, then Python simply returns the string to us unformatted, meaning it doesn't look pretty. All right? It has the quotes. Great. So we can print variables simply by putting the name of the variable inside the print function. We can print strings by actually putting the string inside the print function. And we can print numbers by putting the number inside the print function. Okay. Now, can we mix both of them? What do I mean? Can we have variables along with strings? Yes, we can. Let's see an example of that. And I could say, um, let's use single quotes. I am from the I want to put USA there. I have a variable called country that contains USA. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to tell Python, Python, I will give you the name of a variable later. And I want you to place the value in that variable, which is USA, right where I have these curly braces. Okay. And now I'm going to continue. I am from the USA will be there. And let's put a exclamation point okay and I'm gonna close the string so the curly braces will be replaced by the value of the variable that I'm going to use so how do I specify that variable well I'm gonna say that okay and I'm gonna say the format function right remember function carries open and close parentheses and inside, I'm going to put the name of the variable that is going to be used when I press enter. And Python shows me the complete sentence. And the name of that variable is country. Okay. And notice, I need to put another parenthesis so that I complete the whole thing. All right. And... Python is telling me, see, this one matches with this one. And I press enter. And notice, this string is the same. I am from the, but whatever was here, these curly braces are replaced by what comes inside the format function. And it's USA. And after the USA is printed, then the bang the apostrophe, uh, not the apostrophe, the exclamation point, which we call a bang, all right, is also printed after. All right. Great. So that is an example of how we do printing in Python. In the next video, we will look at getting input from the user and doing something with that input, such as printing that input. Great. I will see you in the next video.